You know that photo of your ex's mum from three summers ago? The one you swore you deleted? Yeah, it's probably still on your phone. That's because your phone is a secret hoarder. It hides files away in little tucked away folders, holding onto them long past their expiration date. Out of sight, out of mind, right? until you suddenly, your storage is full. Or worse, someone scrolls through your phone, stumbles across something you really thought was gone. It's time to go folder hunting and clear out those digital cobwebs. And make sure you stick with me until the end because I've got a cheeky bonus tip that frees up space without having to delete a single thing. Meet the secret hoarders. Let's start with Android. If you're using Google Photos, and let's be honest, Quite a lot of Android users are, and even plenty of iPhone users too, you've got not one, but two secret stashes. The first is archive. This is where you put photos you don't want in your main feed, but you can't quite bring yourself to delete. Think of it like shoving clutter in a cupboard before your guests come around. You may even put something in there by accident. The second is trash or rubbish. This is where deleted photos hang out for 30 to 60 days, like squatters who haven't realized they've been evicted yet. On the iPhone, the sneaky folder is recently deleted. It sounds official, but really, it's Apple saying, we'll keep this just in case you change your mind, or forget about it forever. How to find and clear them up. All right, let's roll up our sleeves and actually get rid of those files. On Android, open up Google Photos and tap the collections at the bottom. There at the top, you'll find the bin or the trash folder. In trash, you can either restore the things you regret deleting or hit empty trash or bin to finally get rid of them. Back in the collections area, you will also find the archive area if you scroll down a bit. Go to the three dots at the top and then you can select images. Then you can hit the trash or bin button at the top to send them to trash. To be honest, I have no idea why most of these are here. On your iPhone, open up the Photos app and scroll to Utilities. Here you'll find Recently Deleted. You can see a count done under each photo, 30 days until it's gone forever. If you're ready, select the photos to go and tap the three dots and hit Delete. And here's the best part. If you've got videos lurking in there, clearing them up can give you back gigabytes of space. Videos are like overstuffed suitcases for your phone, always taking out way more room than they should. Use them as a safety net, not a dumping ground. Here's the part people forget. These hidden folders aren't evil. They're designed to save you from yourself. Deleted the wrong photo? You've got a window of 30 days on iPhone and up to 60 on Android to rescue them. The problem is when you treat these folders like long-term storage. They're meant to be a safety net, not a second attic. So use them wisely, review them regularly, restore what's needed and clear out the rest. Otherwise, you'll end up with a ghost library of old selfies and screenshots haunting your storage. Now, if you're listening to this and thinking, this is great, but my real problem isn't hidden folders, it's the 40,000 photos I've already got scattered everywhere. Then you want to check out my Photo Mess Success courses. They are a step-by-step -step plan to take you from chaos to clarity. No overwhelm, no tech panic. Once you've got your backlog under control, little routines like clearing hidden folders suddenly feel easy. You can find out all the details at photomessuccess.co.uk. So head on over and I'll see you there. Make it part of your monthly tidy up. Let's be honest, most of us don't really enjoy this stuff. So the trick is to tie it with something you already do. Maybe on the first Sunday of the month while your coffee is brewing, spend two minutes clearing out trash or recently deleted. On Android, check both archive and trash. On an iPhone, go straight to recently deleted and give it a good sweep. It's the digital equivalent of emptying your kitchen bin. Not glamorous, but if you don't do it, things start to smell. And once it becomes a habit, you won't even think about it. Combine with your phone's cleanup tools. If you want to go full declutter on your phone, don't stop at just hidden folders. On the iPhone, head to Settings, then General and iPhone Storage. You'll get a breakdown of what's hogging your space, plus suggestions like apps that you might want to offload. On Android, use Files by Google app, which will point you to junk, unused apps, large files and other clutter you forgot you had. 
Integrating this with clearing your hidden folders is like doing a spring clean. You're not just chucking out the obvious rubbish, you're getting into the nooks and crannies where the dust hides. Bonus tip. And now for the bonus tip. If you hate deleting photos but love having space, try turning on cloud optimization. On your iPhone, go to iCloud, then select Photos and make sure Optimize iPhone Storage is ticked. On Android, go to Google Photos and make sure that Backup and Sync is turned on. Then go to your little initial at the top and you'll find an option to free up space on this device. This will delete any photos on your phone app that have already been backed up to Google Photos. What happens is genius. You instantly free up gigabytes without losing a single memory. It's like putting your stuff in storage, but still being able to reach it whenever you want. And if you'd like to go even further, check out this little video next, where I show you how to have a full declutter of your photos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.